A deadly grass virus has now spread to Hillsborough County. This can kill your entire lawn. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joining us in studio now to show you what to watch out for on your lawn. Larissa. Hey, good morning, James and Dia. Well, experts tell me they're concerned that this will start spreading more to other lawns because there is no cure. They say it's crucial that people know the signs so they can catch this early. The yellow splotch is here with the brown. We went to a home in the Carrollwood area that has the first confirmed case of mosaic virus in Hillsborough County. Chris Schmidt works for Brothers Pest Control. He's the one who found it. Once you cross off your chinch bugs and your root rot and your other possibilities, you know, your telltale signs are going to be your yellow splotches going through the blade. Symptoms of the virus start with those broken yellow streaks running up and down blades of grass that are otherwise green. The grass eventually turns brown as the disease progresses. This disease isn't new to the state and the University of Florida has been tracking it. Mosaic virus was first discovered back in the 1960s around the sugarcane fields in South Florida. And for the past decade, mosaic virus has been fairly isolated to parts of Pinellas County, but now it's spread to Hillsborough. That tissue will actually die. The type of grass that's susceptible to the disease is safe. St. Augustine grass of the Floritan variety. The majority of lawns in Florida are St. Augustine grass and about 70% of those are the cultivar Floritan. Experts say it's concerning to see this in a new area. That's because the virus can take over a lawn and kill it completely. This disease progresses into what's called lethal viral necrosis. It's not harmful to people or animals, but at this time there's no cure for lawns. Unfortunately, there's no chemical control for it. Um, there's no mechanical control to stop the spread of it. And once it gets to that stage, experts tell know, us the only way to really manage the virus if you find it in your yard is by putting uh, a more resistant type of grass in its place to slow the spread. Um, you know, cutting it out and replacing it, or you could simply put plugs of the resistant cultivars to fill into those areas. It can spread different ways through lawn equipment like mowers, through the root system from one lawn to another, or through insects. Experts tell us catching it early is key to try to save lawns as researchers work to find a solution. This could really take off in the future. And for more information on prevention, the signs of the virus, and who to call if you suspect that you have it in your yard, head to abcactionnews.com.